Butterfly TV and I am your host, Christian Bucer. For the people at home, who are we here with today? Hey, my name's Buzz Andruszewski. Actually, it's Anthony Buzz Andruszewski. So, uh, you, you happen to uh, be involved in Erie politics? Uh, I used to be involved in Erie politics. Uh, I go back to being a Democratic committee man, being one of the first county council, state senator. Haven't been in politics for quite a while, but I am now. So when did you uh, start uh, getting into the politics uh, scene in Erie? You know, I was in college now. This dates me, but I invited Hubert Humphrey to speak at Gannon when he ran for the presidency of the United States in 1968. So I go back a little bit. I was politically active in college. Uh, always wanted to be, I always, always, wanted to be in politics. I wanted to be in government. I wanted have to have a say on how we set policy. Now recently what's been going on in your world? Well in my world uh, recently I went from being an iron worker to being an attorney. Uh, I've only been an attorney for a couple of years. Uh, this is my law office which used to be my mother's beauty shop 813 East 28. And I practice law, and I'm running for county executive against the incumbent Democrat, Mark DeVecchio. Now, uh, incompetent, what do you mean by that? Like, you want to explain to the people? Oh, you mean, did I say he was incompetent? Yeah, I think it's a... Uh, I, said, I said Mark's in way over his head. <laughs> All right, I think Mark uh, really does not understand the importance of his job, the importance of bringing new people into government uh, instead of just going along with whatever is there. And I think his priorities are completely, completely opposite of where we should be going in Erie County. And you know, just, can I just get a couple of them in? We're going to spend 80 million dollars we're getting bond issues the taxpayers are responsible for. $80 million to expand the runway at Erie Tom Ridge International Airport. Now, there's no planes that land there anymore. Maybe some Piper Cubs or small compute, uh, commuter planes. But we're spending $80 million to expand a runway that uh, planes don't land at. It's all done and gone. They don't do it anymore. And I think we got a better use of our money and resources than that. Oh, one more. Just let me get this. Junior college. You have five colleges and universities in Erie County. You go to six if you go to uh, Allegheny down in uh, Meadville. We're going to spend tens of millions of dollars of taxpayers' money before you even get the first student in the door. Uh, you really need to duplicate buildings, teachers, administrators, janitors, uh, stationary engineers, electricians, everything needed to start and sustain a college when you have five here. They offer the colleges here and universities offer two-year degrees. Colleges and, and universities here, uh, they work with students on financial aid and to spend tens of millions of dollars before you could even put a person in a door, in my opinion, is ridiculous. And if do I have an alternative plan? Take the gambling money. They have discretionary gambling money. And my plan is anybody who's an Erie County resident goes to school full-time, attends classes and passes, can receive a $3,000 grant from the county from this gambling money provided that college or university matches it with a $3,000 grant. So before any other grant, before a federal or state grant, before any of that, you already have a $6,000 discount. It's immediate. You could send a thousand individual people in Erie County to college next year uh, without raising taxes, without taking money out of taxpayers' pockets, 
without coming up with a numbers game that it's coming from the state. You can do it immediately. And that's why I say Mark's in way over his head. It's, these are ideas that uh, are not particularly mine and something I created, but these are common ideas of people who think. And I think what we need in government is somebody who is able to think. So, like, uh, your goals, uh, those are all your goals you're trying to reach? Well, no, that's reaching, not all right? my goals. You know what? Here's, I, was at a, I was at a candidate's night in the Central Labor Hall. So I'm at this candidate's night, and I just looked at that crowd, and I said, I used to sit where you sat. I was a worker. I was an iron worker. I was a boiler maker. And I said, I just stepped away a second. I said, look, it, if it takes somebody out of the past, like me, to bring Erie County into this century. We're not in the 1900s. If it takes somebody like me to take Erie County government into this century, and more importantly, to bring new people in, I'm not afraid to do that. And if I have to come out of the past to bring new people in, I will. And what I will do is just that. We have young people, smart people, we have old people, smart people, middle-aged people, smart people, who I will look to and bring in. So speaking of uh, your team and bringing people on, what's the best way to join your team and how, how can people contact you? Call Buzz 455-4980. Do you have anyone you want to thank out there for your support, that's supporting you and, and uh, Helping you out? My wife puts up with me the best. And, I, you know, I just don't, I have no other way to put it. My wife puts up with me uh, the best. And uh, if I had a big supporter uh, who yells at me really bad, really bad, has a bad temper too, but she gets over it quick, it would be my wife. If I had to thank somebody, it would be her. Now, you have anything you want to say to your competition out there? Uh, I think Barry Grossman's a good pet candidate. You know, there's Mark DeVecchio, there's myself, and then there's Barry Grossman. And, you know, when you've been around in politics a while, uh, some people really don't like you. And I have, uh, some people do not like me. I spent a lot of time just working with regular folks on regular issues, uh, some people, whenever you say something politically, you always gain somebody who doesn't like you. And uh, if somebody was, uh, how would I call it, a professional buzz hater, and they were not going to vote for me, uh, I would hope they vote for Barry Grossman. Uh, because he comes in with a lot of the same ideas. You have to be a leader. You have to stand out. You have to be able to take issues. Uh, I'm against uh, building that tire burner out there. I know what it's going to do. Mark DeVecchio says the Home Rule Charter does not allow him to speak out on it. My answer to that is his contributors do not allow him to speak out on it. I was on the first county council. There's nothing in that Home Rule Charter that says county executive cannot speak out. There's nothing in there that says county executive can't talk about the tire plant? That's ridiculous. What he should do, he should go and have the county solicitor file suit against the siting of that plant. And th th this is in the Department uh, of Environmental Protection uh, law. You can actually file suit and enjoin the State Department of Environmental Protection to carry out the law and enforce the law. They could do that easily, but for him to dodge the question, you know, I was there when it started, first county council, and I don't want to date myself, and I'll repeat again, if it takes somebody out of the past to come and bring new ideas and new people into Erie County, I will. Uh, do I think, again, do I think he's uh, incompetent? Well, he's in way over his head.